All right, guys, welcome back. March 22nd, 2022. And we have a sea of green pretty much with Bitcoin at 42,660. Ethereum at 3,000. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So today in today's video, I want to go over more about GPU availability and GPU pricing. As more and more uh, GPUs are available, the pricing is tending to come down from the Bitcoin correction and the crypto correction. Uh, miners have lost interest pretty much. Not interest, but they're kind of being cautious and not buying more GPUs because the uh, profitability isn't there the way it was last year. And also with Ethereum still on the verge of going to proof of stake, people don't want to be dumping a lot of money into GPUs. So now we are hopefully seeing hopefully seeing a bear market on GPUs. And uh, this is a great article I found. I want you all to go check it out. I think it's very, very well done. Kind of along the lines of what I've been talking about for the past few videos. And what is it? TechSpot. Go to TechSpot.com. GPU availability and pricing update March 2022. GPU, GPU prices get even lower. And this is March 21st, dated yesterday. So he goes through and they're talking about, you know, how things were bad last year. There's new launching of the RTX 3050, which was a pretty much a turd for miners. Nobody wants that thing to mine with based on the price. It's just not it's just not a, a go a go to GPU at all. No interest. I'd rather buy a 1660 Ti or 1660 Super than get a 3050. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And then 60, uh, AMD released the 6500 XT. They talk about that. All right. They go through the 3090 is now still TBD and it's going to come out pretty expensive. And with mining right now, you know, people are worried about, I just want to cover my electrical cost, hold the coins and or mine and the money I do mine, I will convert it to fiat and then pay my electric bill. So there's a, ah, there's two schools of thought, or you take the money you're going to buy on these GPUs and just buy this, buy the uh, crypto directly in an exchange and then put it somewhere to start staking and making interest on it, like in a Voyager uh, or a uh, smart node or something like that, like inodes or something. Uh, there's other options to making money instead of just throwing it at overpriced GPUs, right? couple schools of thought. My school of thought is keep mining. I'm still making more than my electrical bill. And I'm going to hold the coins I mine. So I'm covering the electrical overhead out of pocket, out of my current money. So that's where I'm at. All right, let's go. To be clear, good availability doesn't mean good pricing. So there are more cards available on StockX, on eBay, ugh, and on Amazon and Newegg. The pricing still isn't the greatest, but you can see the trends. And StockX has a great chart, too, to show the trends and what you what people are bidding on and what they're getting them for. You can go in and bid on a GPU. They don't have to accept the bid, but you can put it in. You might hit. These guys might be desperate to unload their stock because they can see that the uh, GPU prices are going down. I want to go down. Let's just skip ahead. GPU pricing update. Here is where pricing currently sits for all GPUs, using the new egg as a lowest price in stock. MSRP for the 3090 is 1500 Lowest price match is currently 2000 The price inflation is 35%. The uh, dreaded 3080 Ti LHR, 1200 MSRP. Wow. I wish, I wish I did not get, I paid scalper prices for mine. Oh no, did I? Uh, I can't have to look. I did use a retail bot. I will, I will proudly admit that. I use Stellar to buy my GPUs, uh, and I wanted. To, I didn't want to pay scalper prices, but I had to pay money for the bot and blah blah blah. But still, I came out ahead and I got my six thirty eighty Ti's. But the lowest price match is fourteen thirty. Definitely lower. Definitely a lot lower. Uh, so there's a, still a price inflation of nineteen percent. You can go through and see the other cards. It's cool to see what the MSRPs are. And then what the uh, prices are, and then the scalping inflation, stuff like that. The worst is the 3070 for some reason. It is a 72% price inflation. Anyway, across all 16 GPUs, the average price inflation right now is 44% above MSRP. Uh, this uh, varies substantially depending on the model. Older GPUs released uh, more realistic MSRPs have the highest amount of inflation at the moment. 
The 3070, like I said, had the highest at 72%. Here are the AMDs. Uh, you can get a good idea what the prices are. The MSRP. I'm. I'm. I like the 6600 XT. Holy crap! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. I was paying. Yeah. I was paying between five and six hundred. And then I said, if I see it on Newegg under five hundred, I would buy one. So I was still paying quite a bit. I was not paying MSRP. But I would love to see those cards get back down to three eighty. That'd be great. So here you go. You get the MSRPs. The current lowest price, and this is, like I said, March 22nd, 2022. This gives you a great reference. This is an excellent site. They put data out there. They track the data, and it gives you a good reference by what you should be paying for on these cards. Right now, I'm telling people, please hold. Everyone, hold the line. Just hold off buying cards. You don't need them. Just hold off. The more people hold off and stop buying these things, the prices will really drop. And uh, then, then go crazy. You know, then do a bum rush, right? Oh my God, let's see. They're talking about, um, oh, let's go down to more charts. It's just more stuff, more stuff. Here's the NVIDIA GPU pricing trend for 2022. And you can go through and see the cards, 3090. Look at this thing. Everything is sloping down. Uh, March 22nd, things are sloping down. Some of these cards are just not worth the, the juice. I mean, the juice isn't worth the squeeze on some of these. All this money you're going to put out there, with the way mining is right now at 4.0, was it? Oh God, 0 0.04 cents per mega hash on Ethereum. I don't know. You're never gonna get your ROI. It might not be a good thing. That's you gotta think of the ROI. Unless you're just like blowing away money. Um, think of the ROI and how long it's gonna take. Right now, it's very questionable. That's why I've, I'm kind of looking at the lower end cars, the 1660 supers, and even a 6600 XT because they'll give me 32 mega hash, draw about 70 watts of power. So sort of efficient and it's not a big money a money pit or a big power hog like a 3080 ti which i can get 90 mega hash on or a 3090 which is going to break the bank you'll never get your roi i don't see how i don't know i guess you could but it's going to take a while oh what do we got here here are some more msrps for the uh 3090 1500 here's the ebay average price 2600 ebay they got to cover their selling fees. Same on StockX. eBay charges 14% to sellers. And you're not going to really get it cheap unless they need to unload it. But they're going to take a loss. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So here you see the prices going down. MSRP in a 3090-1500. eBay in January was 2600 Dropping like 200 bucks a month. 200 schmackaroos a month. 3080s are down. Yeah, 200 bucks a month. It looks like these things are dropping. Look at the MSRPs. It's really amazing the jack up on these things, the uh, scalping prices. Yeah, 3080, 10 gigabytes. Still pretty pricey. Jeez, it's double yet. It's still it's still double the MSRP. Uh, 3070 Ti. I don't like the 3070 Ti. I don't know. They run hot. The memory runs hot. I even re- did the thermal pads and gobbed on thermal paste on top of that GPU, that chip. The thing still runs hot. It's just, what a waste. I don't know. It just runs hot. It's a, it's a, it's a hot little card. It's going to heat your house. Yeah, look at this one. 3060 Ti is, oh my God, 102% inflation. And it gives you an idea too. These charts are nice. gives you an MSRP, your reference point. And based on the inflation price, which to me, which ones are popular. So you're talking a 3060, 3060 Ti, and a 3070 are way up there. Now 3080, 10 gigabyte. I think this 3080 is the non-LHR one. Good luck finding that one. Here's AMD. Same thing. Uh, price is coming down. You can go through this chart again, techspot.com. Check her out. MSRPs. Uh, prices are not as inflated as the NVIDIA cards, but they're still up there. All right, yeah, what's this? eBay still has a purpose, though. If you're looking for a used GPU, this is the place to look for some. Yeah, I think if you're looking for used, yeah, so eBay still has a purpose. So if you're looking for a used GPU, this is the place to go uh, to look for some. Given the way the market is headed, if you have a used GPU lying around, you might want to sell it sooner rather than later, as pricing is, likely, is unlikely to head back up. I agree. I think now we're in a bear market for GPU resellers. Yeah, if you are a reseller and you're, you're stocking up on GPUs, you better unload these things quick. 
they're gonna you're gonna be left holding the bag and lose money on your um, on your product. Not a good thing. Uh, let's see. Now we got the MSRP eBay. Uh, we got 2080s. I don't have any of the 20 series cards, but the prices are still up there. Look at that. I like this chart. It gives you the nice uh, trend. You know, everything's dropping. Everything's dropping. Guys, if you can just wait till next month and maybe these prices will drop a couple hundred more bucks and hopefully get back into the MSRP area, arena, realm, uh, whatever. All right. Oh, we're 11 minutes in. I'm sorry. I make my videos. I just blab on. But again, I think it's sort of information that is useful. It's useful to me. And I'm just an average schmuck who went to public school. And uh, I figured it might be helpful to other people. Yeah, here we go. Let's look at this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. In the last month, all right, AMD's Radeon 6600 is available for around 400 bucks new. Just 14% more than the GTX 1660 Super is going for used on average. Yet the RX 6600 is over 35% faster. So in that instance, it makes more sense to get a new RX 6600. Interesting. Oh, that's a good point. But I like the 6600 XTs. Ah, uh, you got to compare. You really got to do your research. I do like the 1660 Ti and Supers. Yeah, they both give about the same, as far as I'm concerned, I think they both give about the same hash rate, 33 mega hash on Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's good to know, though. I don't know. I'm, you can buy used, and uh, I bought refurbished cards. I bought refurbished CPUs, and I've honestly had no major issues with them. Uh, maybe with the CPU, I had a re- uh, uh, what do you call it? Put on thermal paste because the previous owner returned it and wiped all the thermal paste off for the heat sink. But that's about it. No biggie. Uh, here we go again. Some more stats. Just go through this. this is a great site. I'm not going to go through every table because this will be a five hour video. Uh, maybe one day we can live stream. Who knows? Should you buy a new GPO right now? My answer to this is similar to last month. It depends on your situation. If you've been waiting ages and are comfortable to wait longer, we don't believe we have hit the price floor for GPUs yet. Exactly. That's my point. Hold the line. Just wait, wait, wait. And we think pricing close to MSRP is achievable, especially for more recent releases like the uh, 3050. Blah, I, don't, I don't even want a 3050. Not, not even on the table. And the RX 6600. Maybe the XT 6600. Maybe. If you are desperate to upgrade or are looking to buy a new gaming PC right now. No, man. Mining's where it's at, folks. Make money from your machines just sitting there. I mean, you can play games or you're, I don't know. How many days can you play games and just waste away your life? That's just my attitude. You're wasting all that time. You'll never get back. Whereas if you just get some mining rigs up, that stuff is generating income for you. Albeit, you're burning power and you got to pay for the power. But still, I don't know. You can do both, but why not go do something, educate yourself, become a better version and uh, improve your uh, usefulness. <laughs> just playing. I mean, I regret playing the games I played and uh, wasting time. I did like Portal. Portal was fun. And uh, Metro. So look at me. I got out of that. I regret wasting the time on those things, but they were fun. All right. Whether or not you jump in or not, in now or continue to wait for the price floor to be hit, that depends on your situation and how desperate you are. Don't be desperate. Uh, the, more in, uh, the more inadequate your current GPU is, the more reason here there is to upgrade. Oh, uh, yeah, I just went for mining. And right now I'm kind of holding off because I want to see what Ethereum does. And I want to get some retail bots running again and definitely get the MSRPs on these things. That's that's where I'm at. I don't want to pay anything over MSRP because, again, it is kind of a business, sole proprietor, or whatever. You don't want to waste money on stuff you don't need to. If you can find a better way to get things cheaper, do it. Don't waste money on things you're not going to make you money, but you know, don't overspend either on GPUs. Yeah, what do you think? That's it. That's enough for this article. 12 minutes in or whatever. Oh my God, 15 minutes. Sorry about that. All right, that is all I got. Check it this check this article out and keep uh, just wait. Just wait. Trust me, wait another month. It's gonna drop. That's the way it looks like. Hey, if this is helpful to you, thumbs up, share this video. Let's grow this channel. I think I'm putting out some good information. I think it's useful, but who knows? It may not be useful. I just love reading articles and sharing the information. So right now I am in retail bot mode trying to figure out which retail bot I need to get. And then I got to spend time on configuring it. It's a whole nother learning curve. It's a whole nother vertical stack of tech I got to learn and get back into the groove and uh, figure out what's the best way to do this without wasting money on that. And uh, right now, I don't know what's out there. I don't want to get GPUs right now. I want to maybe get some other stuff. Who knows? I'm just in research mode. 
yeah, maybe we'll switch the channel over to some retail bot information. But again, it's such a niche item like mining, but more so that no one really gives a crap too much. But it is a useful tool in the crypto miners toolbox if you have a retail bot to help you get stuff in MSRP and hard to get items. For me, it was just trying to find the availability of a card. And then once you did, oh, I just need that card. Oh, I don't know. That's where I'm at. Thanks for, uh, thanks for whatever. Thanks for watching and listening. I'm going to go to dinner. I'm out of here. All right. Take care. Blammo.